A pool of 75 potential jurors will be whittled down to 12 jurors and four alternates starting on Wednesday after attorneys spend tomorrow going through all the answers they gave to an 18 page questionnaire. Also today, prosecutors filed a list of 208 potential witnesses they could call to the stand during the trial. That includes former officer Mohammed Noor's partner the night of the shooting, Matthew Harity, who was driving the squad car and told investigators he too pulled out his gun prior to the shooting. The witness list includes dozens of Minneapolis police officers, including former Chief Janae Harto and current Chief Madaria Arredondo. In a separate filing today, only three defense witnesses were revealed, including a private investigator and national use of force expert Emmanuel Kaplson. The trial will be held in a tiny courtroom that seats fewer than 30 people. Judge Catherine Quaintance is limiting the number of people and reporters who can be in there, plus not allowing the public to see some of the evidence. Damon's supporters are pushing back against the judge. The audio feed in the equally tiny overflow room is in incomprehensible and several key pieces of evidence will not be shown in this space. The questionnaire filled out by jurors includes questions about interactions with Somalis and police officers. Again, nothing is scheduled for tomorrow and we'll all be back here Wednesday morning for jury selection to resume. Lou Raguse, CARE 11 News.